Hey guys and welcome to my uh, next ride guide video. Today we're going to be doing Ramsey up to the point of air. So um, we're basically going to be going up to the very northernmost point of the island. Um, we're going to be starting from here. This is uh, Parliament Square. And on all of my videos I'm going to try and make sure I start from somewhere that's um, known to you guys. Um, I'm aware quite a few of you watching this may not be as experienced as the rest of us with how the island's roads work and where they go. But um, aside from the TT course, there are a lot of different roads that you can ride, especially if the if the course is closed for racing, then there are still quite a few roads you can go out and have a play on. So yeah, we'll be working our way through Ramsey. Um, we'll go along the prom. I'm going to point out where they do the Ramsey Sprint as well. Um, I'm going to be entering it this year, fingers crossed. I'm going to give uh, ye olde Jixa a uh, stretch of its legs along the prom, and uh, yeah, and then we'll go up the uh, go up the Bride Road up to Bride, uh, through Bride, and out the Point of Air Road to the very northernmost point, and that will be our ride guide for today. So I'm going to be quiet for a bit. I'll probably fast forward this next bit through town. Just uh, if you don't know where you're going, keep an eye on the route I take. And um, I will see you guys on Ramsey Prom. promenade and this is where they hold the sprint and they start down by the white house in the distance and they come up this side of the road and then the other side on the way back down is their little return road um, obviously they can go as fast as they want in the sprint but here now oh turn me indicator off um, here now it's a 30 limit uh, obviously there's skate parks BMX tracks kids everywhere people take the dogs for a walk so don't come along here and try and replicate the uh, the drag races but it is uh, very easy to enter the Ramsey Sprint so if you are of that mind then give it a go obviously you get everything we had the uh, the fellow who did it on the uh, 600cc mobility scooter set a world record that was good fun you get people with turbo hire boosters you get you know everything specialty drag bikes you just get some random geezer on his new bike that he's bought and he wants to have a go so if you want to have a go, there's obviously there's an entry fee, but it's, it's all in good fun. It's not it's not that competitive and everybody just kind of sits around and watches, has a laugh. So yeah, those are the uh, cliffs of Bride in the distance. We'll come around this corner. This is where the uh, old hotel, um, oh, what was it called? Grand Island, Grand Island Hotel is what it was called. Um, and then we'll come up here and interestingly parked car in the middle of a junction. Um, okay. And then we're going to turn right, and this is onto the A10 uh, Bride Road. Nice and clear. And this is, a, this is a nice little, again, it's a nice little road to go for a cruise on. Um, you know, if you've been riding the course all day, and you just want somewhere to go for a nice, uh, nice little ride. Obviously, we've just gone through the national speed limit signs. That uh, technically means de-restricted. Um, but obviously, as with any de-restricted section on the island, um, doesn't mean go as fast as you can. It goes as fast as appropriate to the current conditions, the time of day, etc. Now, it's about quarter to four at the moment, so we've got a lot of school kids going to and from school, uh, mums on the school run, etc, etc. So this is not, not the time of day to be bombing around uh, 100, 150 mile an hour. Um, one thing to watch out for down here, we have the immunity site on the left here and uh, sticking from experience pulling out from the immunity site onto this road, uh, it's quite difficult to see. Obviously if someone's doing 40 it's easy to spot them but it's too restricted and you do get people riding, riding driving along there at 80 or faster so just, uh, just an eye out for that. If you are going along there just keep an eye out for people pulling out. They'll tend to be turning right to go back to Ramsey because that, that's where most of the traffic comes from. Into the dog's dog mills now. And 
again, once, you, once you're off the TTE course, the tarmac kind of varies. Obviously here it's nice and smooth, and then we'll get further up the road, it gets quite potholy with gravel on it. Um, just keep an eye out, watch out. Obviously it changes from day to day, so you may, be, you may know the island's roads quite well, but just, just keep an eye out for those things. And we'll uh, cruise through the dog mills and then uh, proceed up to Bride now. So Bride is the uh, northernmost village in the Isle of Man and uh, this is where the road goes to so once again we're in the de-restricted zone uh, but what I'm trying to encourage is riding at speed but just not being a danger to yourself or any other road user obviously I've got an empty road here I can see quite far ahead visibility is good road conditions are good plumbing along at sort of 70 80 mile an hour not a problem I'm not doing I'm not doing any harm to anyone and what I'm trying to encourage with this channel is encouraging specifically newcomers who come over for the TT I'm not talking about races but people who come over you know members of the public and you're all let loose on de-restricted roads like this you're not really given any any sort of education on what is and isn't acceptable so obviously that, that's 90, 95 mile an hour and obviously it's, it's perfectly safe. I didn't even have to touch the brakes there to slow down for this for this bit here. And that's what you're just, you're just not taught. So you guys come over, you're stuck at 70 mile an hour limits and I feel your pain with that. I feel your pain, trust me. But I just want to encourage people just to ride within the limits and ride safely and ride at speed. It's not, it's not, it's not difficult. Just look at the road conditions, make a sensible judgment on a... Uh, on whether it's safe to go quickly or not. So here we are into the 40 limit for Bride. So we'll come up over the hill into Bride and uh, then we'll have to uh, take a little turning off past a couple of roundabouts and then we're on to the actual point of air road. I do like the point of air road. It's uh, it's very, very nice when it's, uh, when it's empty and there's not very many people on it. It's one of my more favorite ones to go along Maybe not necessarily on the uh, sports bike, on one of my smaller bikes. And then we come into Bride. Now it's 20 limit in Bride. It's one of the few places that is a 20 limit on the island. So just make sure you do get yourself slowed down because it's the sort of thing that you'd expect to be a 30, but it is a 20, which is fine. It's not really a problem. It's not really a road that I'd want to be going through quickly anyway, so. And now we come down to the roundabouts. Now, if um, if you are coming up from Peel and you're a bit bored of doing the course um, and you decide to go for a little explore, you can actually turn off at Balaf Bridge. So you wanna go straight over Balaf Bridge, turn left uh, straight away, and you're basically on the coast road for the other side of the island. Then that'll come up the other side and you'll meet up at the roundabout here. And that is the way that you will come up where the silver car is pulling out of now. Um, I think she was having a little problem with getting into gear. Um, so yeah, if you come from Balaf, that's where you're going to get in. And then obviously you're going to continue along the route that I'm about to take now up to the point of air. Okay, so we're coming on to the point of air road now. Again, this is, once you're out of the 20 zone, this is a de-restricted road. Um, it is a very nice road, but uh, just bear in mind the hedges are quite overgrown this time of year. Uh, it's quite difficult to see sometimes what's around the corner, so just keep it in mind. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll proceed onwards. Yeah, now this is quite a, it's quite a big farming area, um, so it is more common here to have farm gates open with lots of uh, mud and gravel etc being brought out onto the road and it's one thing you do want to watch out for on this road is little patches of gravel. Um, I have been up here today already if I'm honest, so I do know where they are. This one, this corner, 
catches a few people out, specifically one of my friends who ended up uh, in his car on its side in the hedge on the opposite side of the road. He apparently was doing 30 around that corner, so that just shows you how uh, treacherous it can be. So again, I'm not sure if it's going to show up for you on the camera, but there is just a steady covering of gravel in the middle of the road. Uh, just something to keep your eye on. Your eye on. Now I'm not really pushing it today. I have just got my back, my uh, bike, my uh, bike back from Evo Moto in Gladstone Park in Ramsey, and uh, Dave at Evo Moto um, is a very experienced, very good uh, bike technician, and he is actually the, the uh, head scrutineer at the TT this year. So he won't be open during TT, but for the rest of the year, he is basically the only person I will let touch my bike, and it always comes back absolutely perfect. Uh, I would definitely recommend if you're over here and you need some work doing to, doing to your bike uh, to pop in and see him. So you can see Cumber in the background over the sea there and it, honestly it looks like a lake instead of a sea. It just doesn't look like there's very much um, very much distance there. And now this is the straight. You can see the lighthouse out. This is the straight. This again is de-restricted. So. To accelerate up, just keep in mind you've got a corner at the end. This is quite um, this is quite narrow this bit, and they have a whole lot of HGVs because we've got a quarry. Um, so you see, we have the little laybys on the left, and you just never really know when there's going to be a HGV coming the other way. So I would not go fast into that corner at all. Obviously, you're on the straight. You can see ahead. There's nobody there. Yeah, give it a bit of a squirt, but just keep these things in the back of your mind. Here on the left is where the quarry is and where the HGVs go in and out of. You can see all the dirt on the road left from it. And we've got a few uh, pedestrians and a doggo further up. So as we can see, that's the uh, lighthouse. And that is basically the uh, lighthouse for the northern tip of the island. So we'll go nice and slow past the doggos. So yeah, once you get to the end of this, there's the little, as you can see, the Tushore sign, and this is the little kind of single track road, uh, which takes you to kind of the car park and the place where you can look out across the water, etc. This is a nice place to go if you want to go and get a photo, or you just, I don't know, you've got some lunch you want to go and eat, and you want some scenic to go and have, have a nice eat. Again, you do get quite a lot of gravel and potholes on this particular road. I don't think it's that high on the DOI's list of roads to keep maintained, so just a heads up. And yeah, there we have it. There is said lighthouse. There is the foghorn. And here we have the point of air. So yeah, obviously I'm not. You guys can probably pick out that uh, that is Scotland in the distance across the sea, and you can see you can see all the uh, commotion on the sea, and that's where the two currents from either side of the island meet up. And this is right on the point. Um, if we do a wee turn around, that is looking down towards the south across the island. The uh, two peaks, the one on the right is uh, Snaefell, one on the left is North Barul. And I very much doubt you guys will be able to pick up, but it's the uh, mountain road is the little road going up the right-hand side of North Barul um, next to the uh, forest. And that is uh, the road up to Guthrie's. Uh, sorry, yeah, the uh, road up to Guthrie's. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like if you liked it. If you've got any suggestions or any questions, uh, give me a comment. And if you wanna see more videos like this, um, subscribe. Now the next video is I think going to be a test ride of um, the Chinese twin bike that they use in the 650 class and the TT. So uh, look forward to that and I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day.